Hi guys, Austin from Meta Luban here. Uh, I want to share you guys some news that we've been aware of. In the current state of the Bitcoin mining industry, we're currently experiencing a lot of changes. As we are familiar, the largest uh, Bitcoin companies are gradually moving their mines from the main mining hubs in the US and Russia over to countries like Dubai, Paraguay, and Brazil. This is because 2024 next year, Bitcoin will be splitting. This creates great opportunity for both investors and Bitcoin mining companies in countries with lower electrical fees compared to well-known leading countries in crypto mining. Ethiopia, for example, is currently experiencing a surge in new Bitcoin mines and investors due to number one, cheaper and more abundant electrical power, two, relatively safe country for new industry building. Because of the new investor in crypto mines, local electric power supply will thrive. And because of this, nearby communities will also benefit from faster economic development. Therefore, local authorities will also assist in the sector. Ethiopia government uh, has also recently approved a 5,000 megawatt uh, limit on farms. And we're in the process of constructing some sites and some repair sites in Ethiopia. Um, it should also be taken into account that in Ethiopia, the infrastructure for electric is weaker um, compared to countries like in the West. For this reason, uh, they have less transformers to support the uh, 5,000 megawatt approval for the plants. So because of this, we are there's going to have to be more um, investments um, from the countryside uh, to build these uh, power adapters. Another example is Russia. Uh, right now, conflict going on with Ukraine, as we are aware. Many countries from the West or also uh, in Europe have set uh, trade tariffs and uh, sanctions on Russia, prohibiting them. Because of this, Russia ends up with a lot of uh, inventory of natural resources, such as gas, coal, petrol. So to use these resources, Russia basically changes them to generate electricity, um, allowing their citizens to enjoy cheaper electric bill by a month to month basis. Now, this is also good for uh, crypto miners. It's a great opportunity to mine Bitcoin because obviously, as we know, lower electric cost will also mean bigger profits for us miners. However, the conflict, obviously, we're praying that it ends soon. So if the conflict does end, we are predicting that uh, Russia will continue to trade the resources back to these other countries that uh, that would like to purchase them. This will in turn also uh, hike up Russia's uh, electric pricing back to its pre-war times, so uh, before the war. So this could be unstable for future uh, crypto mines. But then again, we're no wizards. We can't predict the future. Another country is uh, Paraguay. Paraguay is a country that we're quite familiar with here at Meta Luban. We have many repair sites there. Also, we have a lot of clients there uh, that that's running huge mines. Paraguay is very similar to Ethiopia. They have a lot of electrical generating power. For example, uh, uh, they have the second largest water dam in the world. I believe it's called the Yakrita Dam. Excuse my Spanish. They do generate a lot of power. However, they do have, say per se, less ability to convert the power into usable electric. They do lack power lines. Um, they do lack uh, transformers. The government is also quite strict uh, with their uh, imports. Oftentimes, we do get taxed quite heavily on miners and materials related to the industry going into the country. Sometimes, if we don't pay the bill, obviously, they will confiscate items. So it is tougher to get items over to Paraguay for future development. It's definitely a long-term journey. We do really appreciate our clients' patience with us over at Paraguay, especially. We are working hard, obviously, with a newer country to the industry. There's going to be a lot of speed bumps, a lot of hiccups. Uh, so obviously, patience is most needed at these times. But obviously, no risk, no reward. We do have to shoot to score. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we are willing to dig through the mud and find the diamond. It will take some time, but we do believe it's possible. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Should there be any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. My name is Austin from Meta Luban and I'm signing off.